Hi everyone, we're doing a deep dive scan uh, on a mm, serpent energy that's pretty much uh, wrapped around the entire earth or humanity. Sort of idea, how, how would you describe it, Avila? Well, I would back off to where it all began. Like I'm trying to do a session and I just feel this like super hard energy to start to do anything and every time I pick up this client I feel like, oh, can't do it, I'm going to do something else. Like, basically, it's con constantly, re like, sort of distracted or, like, different priorities. And uh, as we're, like, like working on the releasing items or, like, seeing, like, what is up and checking that like, there's a specific group of, like... Catholicism. Yeah. Group. So, specifically, like, you're looking at these guys. And uh, it's more like I'm trying to recall person's past of being persecuted, being burned at stake and other things like that. And it's like one of the first cases where I can't see shit. I'm trying to look into the past lives and it's all completely blank. And as we're looking into this thing, finally doing it old style uh, with me and Rich and stuff. Uh, so basically I'm in this fear of not being able to see anything, but I feel like this kind of like a spiral thing. And it's, it's just like, a, it feels like a serpent. It's just like, it's massive. It's like a, hard to describe, but much bigger than me. Mm -hmm. If the smallest part of the tail or part of it is twice bigger than me, at least. It's mm -hmm. just like, I just like feel it rolling around with like the energy I feel it. Uh, so there's that and I just like want to like scan it and see what's up. Yeah, okay. Go ahead and scan and uh, I'll give you guidance. Uh, okay. Meter. Yeah, start. Mm -hmm. Right now it's mm, weird. But I'm getting these flashes of, you know, like how people in scary movies are just like trying to put some gruesome pictures of something nasty just to inflict these emotions and stuff mm -hmm. and it's basically just tons of these maggots and like all these little you know things all, all over the place and the thing is like I'm backing off into not just earth but planets around us all these realms like the whole 3D is kind of like run by these beings or like sort of like full of them where the energy and stuff is sort of like holding everyone's or under the control, so to speak. So like this is the first thing that's sort of like popping up, mm -hmm. and when I'm finally starting getting to getting the picture, with it's not like actually, like, yay! <laughs> yeah. Oh, finally, yay! <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm not satisfied that this is getting reads. <laughs> Basically, um, what I'm seeing there's tons of groups of humans out there, like lots of different places, not just Earth, but all over the 3D and stuff. And, you know, they're more like the church-like, you know, Catholicism and stuff. And some of them are wearing these robes, you know, like you can see like complete human face and stuff, but the robe is kind of like hood and stuff. So like completely red with some sort of like swirly design and stuff and like different looks and stuff. But um, as if like they were praying and summoning this, you know, kind of like a demon and shit. Mm -hmm. And from that on, it's it's like these serpents around like uh, planets. It's like they're consuming the visuals. So people that cannot see stuff, that cannot mm -hmm. visualize anything. It's like every time you try to s visualize something, that thing is being taken away. And so like before you even like see it before your eyes, that thing is like, sort of like sucking it out completely. Mm -hmm. And you think like you can't see anything, and that thing is just sort of like basically taking it all away and sort of consuming it so that they could use our visuals to create their own worlds for themselves. Kind of mm -hmm. nasty, but this is <laughs> what's getting reads. Okay, so, yeah. continue. It's one of the first times where like I'm out there and it's really cold. Okay. Like my body is there, like feels like it's kind of like freezing and like over here, like my physical body is picking it up so it's like shivering and stuff like that. So just like mm half -hmm. effects. Okay. Again, what I'm seeing is basically a lot of these deities are coming up like I'm I'm like on this plane where these uh, religious people like wearing these coats and hoodies and everything else like they have their like robes and all and they're like does they're doing some kind of chanting and it's kind of like a summoning but like you know it's like sounds like gibberish like you know like you can't make it up of what it is exactly uh, but as I'm like walking like uh, all, all these people like kind of like, seem like kind of zombified like there's nothing you know you can't communicate you can't actually get to them it's just like like a complete chanting and there's just a meatball doing its own thing. And as I'm walking, um, I'm seeing a lot of figures popping popping up, like you know, like there's satanic that kind of like half human, half goat man coming up. Uh, I'm like seeing Jesus and some other like uh, figures coming up from these from these deities, and it's more like I'm like I'm like what the fuck are you doing here? You know, like just asking them stuff. 
And it's more like these are the gods or beings that have lost their powers and completely are powerless, so they're using everyone else kind of like under their control. Like, I mean, like, my, being able to mind control and having some black magic shit where, you know, summoning things and demonic problems and stuff. But it's like, um, what they're trying to do is like connect to people like us who have visuals and creativity and imagination. And because they cannot do it themselves, they're trying to sort of like use us constantly where uh, the shittier our life is, the more we think about the better life. And when we focus on it, we sort of like start visualizing it, but they suck out all the visuals and we end up creating them like realms for them. And they're the ones who are like being satisfied while we're the ones being sort of fucked over. So like, just like think I'm seeing like there's a lot of these like uh, figures from religions and like, mm -hmm. you know, like what we call like the like regods and, you know, like from North, you know, like all these various and like uh, from India and stuff, like a lot of these beings are just like completely super happy about like harvesting everyone. It's not just like uh, planet Earth, but there's a lot of other places as well where they're just like completely harvesting beings and taking it all off. So it is. So just like the religious icons or religious leaders or the, uh, the ascended masters, they call them sometimes of the different religions throughout history, they're actually mm, agents or tools of this other energy thing? And Pretty much, as if like, um, they are lost all, all their powers and gone sideways or whatever happened, but like, um, right now I'm seeing them kind of powerless where they can't manifest stuff. They cannot. They cannot, do. Yeah, and be mm. like, they, we're, we're talking about the individuals uh, beings that they're, they're called ascended masters or lords of karma. These kind of guys, there's a there's about 12 of them that are real popular. But those kinds of people that were once roaming around on earth and being uh, wonderful spiritual leaders like that. Yeah. So they've kind of lost their powers and they're, am I tracking? Pretty much. Like, you know, okay. like let's say the the image of what people call Jesus and our, like, all those beings, you know, uh -huh. like, uh, they're all lined up there. And the thing is, they can all shapeshift and you see the true form behind them. Yeah. Uh, it's like the image they present to us whilst deep inside they're more like sort of like demonic beings. Uh, yeah. And while they cannot manifest things themselves, they're using their own, like, sort of like, like, chanting snare things where energy and everything's controlling around like planets and stuff is like constantly sucking us out of our emotions of our uh, visuals other things and taking it off basically transmitting it to their place mm -hmm. so now it becomes like we create things for them and they're all happy and fancy and stuff but we're the ones like suffering yeah that's what i'm picking up so far yeah and if i heard you right <clears throat> they make it miserable for us and so we we think about a wonderful life and that thought of the wonderful life creation is what they take and use to get the wonderful life created exactly. for them. Exactly. And so we're stuck with the shit. Yeah. Okay. So the more we suffer, the more you know people are going into suicides and stuff, and just like really going through harsh stuff. It's more like the more they are enjoying it because you think about what would it be if, uh -huh. and all these positive things while you're trying to visualize it, some people just lose it like complete pitch black. Mm -hmm. While you are actually seeing stuff and is being taken away to their place. Yeah, I'm I'm very familiar with the phenomena you're talking about. This uh, ripping off your memories and stuff. I'll have a I'll wake up in the morning. I have long dreams and I remember them, and I wake up and I still sort of remember them. But when I consciously decide to uh, put it in words, it just goes blank. Uh, I, I try to like well I try to like write it down in a dream journal. Uh, I was in the, and it just goes absolute blank. And just like literally 30 seconds before I was there and 15 seconds before I could actually remember the, the environment and the people and the interactions. But when I start to write it down, it just goes blank. So similar phenomena. Similar, yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to. Look yeah, for more stuff. Okay. Now I'm getting micro reads. Do you want me to go that, uh, that, that on this? Yeah. Micro reads? Yeah, sure. Okay. So right now I'm doing sort of a follow up, I guess, because uh, taking time to explain things and just talk about it gives them time to like uh, hide their footprints, so to speak. Yeah. And they're trying to back off and really sort of like uh, hide it up. So I've basically, been uh, jumping through spaces, sort of following their scent, kind of so, kind mm. of, uh, and. Uh, I found them like a basically back to this like half human half goat being and there's like a like imp and 
other ones like with those long tails were like just like literally wrap around my neck kind of to sort of like strangle me but just sort of like teasing and stuff mm -hmm. so there's a lot of that like just they're sort of like uh, inspecting me but like i'm i'm there so you know i'm gonna okay. continue yes is it like very sinister sense in this whole realm and uh basically so I'm looking and talking to these beings and just sort of like, uh, not necessarily opening my mouth, but like s asking like mentally the question or like, you know, like what are they doing, what's their goal, like what are they, what are they up to and stuff like that. It's more like a lot of these things with um, religion, with faith, they keep talking about like what the heaven looks like and like all these things and just trying to set up this perfect image. Uh, well, they want that place. They don't have it. They can't access it, but humans can. And every time they tell a story about their dream, the paradise of what they want, people will think about it, focus on it, create it for them, and they're like, oh, finally, we can go there. You know, so it's basically the more people, like, as a collective focuses on something, and they just have to put the story in there with some, you know, bullshit, sounds about right, and people believe it and focus on it and start creating with, with their thought, with their belief, and all of a sudden, these guys can go there. These guys can live there and, like, have their own paradise realms and stuff like that, and... It's all good for them, but we're not allowed to go there. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. So, I'm just, you know, Q&A kind of like thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it reminds me of uh, <clears throat> the, the afterlife where uh, Christians, certain Christians will go to a certain Christian afterlife place. Uh, and uh, um, they want to, the story they get is that... <clears throat> This is kind of like a halfway point. This isn't quite heaven. Uh, and there's uh, different levels of, you know, astral levels or spiritual levels. Uh, uh, different dimensional planes that are the heaven worlds. And as you get spiritually evolved, you get to go to level one and level two, level three. You know, you get to go up. But that's the story you're told. But in fact, what you're, they're really telling you is... Uh, you're going to have to go back to Earth one more time, reincarnate, so you can get to, you know, level one. And so, meantime, we're creating all these wonderful levels that they're telling us about, yet we don't get to go. We drop dead. People that believe in this stuff, they drop dead. They go to this, this place, and then they get talked into a past life review and coming back to Earth, quote, one more time. But each time they drop dead, they're told... Just one more time, just one more time. And we don't remember the last conversation we had with these guys. Uh, so uh, we go on, quote, one more time. and But we just keep recycling, recycling. It sounds like a similar story. Uh, I don't right. know if it's exactly the same thing. But, sounds yeah. about right. Okay. So far, I've just been checking on a few things. In the previous sessions, we found these massive beings, like Planet Eater, if you remember, a while mm -hmm. ago. Uh, there's also like this kind of like a ghoulish massive being with like eight arms or more with tons of ice over the head and all. Uh, so like I'm looking, there's a lot of these factions that use these deities in their images. And so there's a saying in Lithuanian like the hope is the mother of all the idiots. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> giggle, giggle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get tons of freeze. Mm -hmm. uh, but basically... What I'm seeing is like a lot of these like there's like tons of different factions with their own intents, but what I'm seeing is kind of like a they all see humanity and other races as basically har like harvesting them, mm -hmm. you yeah, know, harvesting like it, yeah. basically just the farm and stuff, and so each and every one of us like kind of like a nuclear power plant, and our energy can be utilized in tons of different ways, and so for example this. Uh, being kind of like amygdala, uh, well, that like eight arms with uh, tons of eyes and stuff in the head, mm -hmm. uh, using all the religions and those that are hopeful whenever they pray, whenever they focus, whenever like all they do all the stuff, it's like their energy is being drained and sucked out. So like God, please do this and stuff. So they suck out your energy and basically power up their technologies and cities and different things like that. But they're not helping you, and they're gonna cause more issues in your life. And then you're going to be like, oh, God, please do this and this and this. So you keep on praying, you keep like hope, being hopeful and stuff, but the energy is being consumed. So that's just like one way. Second way is this whole serpent thing where, you know, shit happens to us and we keep being hopeful. And we just like keep creating this sort of like dream world, but they're using it to utilize and make it their own world. So like we get nothing, they get benefits. And there's like a, lots of different factions that are using these religions, cults and belief systems where we go for it. And it's basically being used against where we are hoping for things and stuff. 
and they just like take a stake our energy and stuff and create their own stuff with it uh-huh. kind of like so I just yeah just sort of connected these two things okay good continue yeah. um, are there anything you think I should focus on or just should I just talk to them or what uh, <coughs> uh, yeah just uh, yeah talk to them uh, you know uh, what's your intentions what's your plans uh, uh, do you have anything in common with humanity uh, or and I can also check out things regarding visuals, not seeing things, because like that's that was sort of like the origins of what, where we started the session, like being blocked out. Yeah, yeah. So all these questions and maybe yeah, there yeah. as well. Mm-hmm. So we'll see where that goes. Okay. So I basically had all of these people lined up, you know, sort of like seeing who I'm talking to, like the whole crowd and stuff, and just asking, who's your boss, like who's above you and all, and so it's kind of like a, they step away as if like the whole crowd makes this way and the being behind them is a complete conscious being, like you and me. Just consciousness taking kind of like the actual form, just having fun with it. Hmm. So, I'm yeah. gonna go and have a chit-chat, mm-hmm. see what's up. Okay. So some talking, like I'm asking questions, like, you know, like why is that being basically controlling a lot of these like other like races and stuff and just using them against other beings and it's kind of like a same explanation as if you like uh, watch Star Wars or Lord of the Rings, you know, you can play as uh, the good guys, but it gets boring and you want to play the Darth Vader, or you play as elves and humans, but you also can play the orc, mm-hmm. you know, so it's basically just the other side and why not is fun. And I'm getting that, like, uh, being an explanation of, is basically, like, not explanation, but like, kind of comparison, is like, the big father figure goes into kindergarten to act almighty because it's fun, you know, it's like uh, coming into a place where people are like, fucked up and at that level where they can't do shit and like, uh, well, boy, that feels good, huh? Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah. <laughs> just going mm-hmm. from there. Yeah. Okay. Continue. Right now I'm doing some of the work. It's like, uh, recently you and I watched a movie called Venom and mm-hmm. it's kind of like that parasite that can get into a human and then it can shapeshift and all. Mm-hmm. So, it's as if that part of the consciousness is playing dirty and in order to take over like to have others to be bad and stuff he has to put like that kind of parasite or that aspect into the others so like let's say all these deities that are now playing nasty and dirty and stuff it's like part of that shape-shifting and acting unnatural is kind of like there's another being within that takes complete control over them mm-hmm. same with a race of reptilians and other beings out there who are like uh, just doing their own thing and now that being like the other conscious comes in and just like takes over them and it's kind of like a just finding toy soldiers like oh i'm gonna pick this one and make them fight in, in, with each other mm-hmm. so it's like uh, i'm sort of like sucking it all out just basically cleaning it up mm-hmm. but yeah good all right um yeah so basically we just had to duke it out because this being has complete uh interest in playing it like a uh, you know, fair and square and like doesn't care about others. It's really like into controlling, dominating and taking over and basically just destroying everything because it's fun just for the hell of it. And so, you know, like trying to duke it out with the actual bodies, but it's kind of like, like facing the complete equal who knows it all, like how to teleport and shapeshift and time travel and shit like that. So what I did is kind of like, um, as a consciousness, basically like splitting into tens of aspects and completely disappearing and becoming nothing. And that, like, he kind of, like, 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 the fuck, like, she disappeared and stuff. And uh, part of myself was kind of, like, um, was a conscious, I just basically put my aspect into him, him, like, completely taking over, acting from his perspective where I become him and I undo all the stuff where basically sucking out all this kind of, like, purge and, like, basically just, like, cleaning up everything. And it's, like, a lot of that stuff with uh, controlling, taking over, uh, even has to do with, like, a nerve, the whole pandemic stuff where... People are completely under control, and some of them, while they might not be too bright and awake, they're being used into, I have to do this, and like, a, you know, specific law, specific things, or like playing for the bad guys and shit like that. It's like, uh, people are just like, lost complete control, so like, just sucking out that part of them where, you know, like, they feel they have to do this sort of thing, and just sort of like, cleaning up everything. And after the cleanup, basically just uh, squishing into nothing and just transmuting it. So, mm-hmm. we'll see if that helps, but mm-hmm. yeah. Good. Wow. That's interesting. Well, yeah, what a deal. 
Okay. Yeah, same with the serpent. This that thing is gone as well. Oh, so good. We'll see that else, but. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, is there anything you would like to say as a wrap on this? Uh, looking into this phenomena. Mm, I don't know. It's just like interesting to go where you know can't see anything when trying to do a session, and it just escalates into something much bigger than mm-hmm. you normally wouldn't look into. Yeah. So it's pretty interesting. So you were able to start seeing things? Oh, yeah. that uh, <laughs> When I focused in, it just became super clear and I was just living it. Like, uh, being on that, like, whole, like, realm with mm-hmm. all the beings lined up, you know, you see mm, all these deities and figures we have in various religions, you know, with uh, even, like, the Thor and, you know, Ragnarok and, like, all these, like, different figures. You see what it looked like. You see, like, mm-hmm. you know, being able to co- go close and actually touch their whiskers and, like, feel it. Mm-hmm. Uh, completely real can be in the, um, the weather there like, or like more like temperature is like super cold like I, I felt like I was freezing so like my body would like actually react here in the physical and um at the same time it just like yeah like visuals opened up like it's been a while <laughs> like yeah that. so uh-huh. that helps good good deal uh so um do you have a mm, a message for uh Regina regarding all this or do you want to do another session on Regina? Completely different. Yeah. No, okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Sorry about the dropping these names and no, it's okay. do I have mm. to ed- edit that stuff? It's out. okay. Okay. Hmm. All right. Well, is there anything else you'd like to say before we wrap up? I just like wonder if like what I did today will actually bring some changes, you know, cuz like it's actually a lot of figures involved and a lot of energy and all. So, after just clean up, we'll see if you know, actually, people have some changes because there's recently a session on one person and said like the whole town just changed up with their frequency mm-hmm. and how they act. So when this kind of like, uh, you know, if for those that have seen the venom, it's like the parasite takes over and you start acting differently. Except the parasite isn't friendly and whoever is not your friend. He's kind of like completely yeah. working for the dark side. Yeah. So like removing something like that, I wonder like how it's gonna change things. Well, as a phenomenon, that that's how it works. I like. <clears throat> Imagine that human bodies had a life of their own. They were the entity themselves. And they didn't need spiritual beings incarnating into them. And from a human body being's perspective, they could talk to their buddies and say, Hey, our entire race has been infested by these other entities. And we call ourselves spiritual beings. They call they could call us entities that have come in to us and taken us over. I mean, it's a it's a point of view and it's a perspective and it's a phenomenon. I mean, it's it's very clear that we as spiritual beings come into these bodies and take them over. Yeah. So the phenomenon uh, is played out in all kinds of. Uh, dramas and s- scenarios and settings, uh, and this was just one more. This, yeah. this bad boy was doing it on a global scale. <laughs>